update on John Wants Answers. It's me, Keith, and nobody else on camera at all. And we're live. No stopping us, because we're live. John Wants Answers. John Wants Answers. Give John Answers. John Wants Answers. Give John Answers now. Check your calendars. If it says May 10th, 2018, then we're live. You say My we, but who? Who is this we we're speaking of? It's just me on television. It's the it's ghost the of John's John past. Wants Answers show. It's I'm haunting you from beyond the Beyond city. what? Beyond the city. I, I'm in my car and I'm late or something okay, like that. Okay, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Well, I don't want to say I'm dead. This they'll doesn't, be back next this week. This doesn't make any sense at all. I want you to understand, people. I, occasionally, I am concerned about my own sanity. And tonight is one of those nights. Um, uh, like four minutes ago, John walked on camera and he's dressed entirely in green. As if this was a good idea. Uh, my guest tonight is the legendary Keith Statenfield. Say hi, Keith, to the crowd. Hi. Um, we're going to take your tweets. No, That's we're not. Part. Yes, we can take your tweets. So if you can tweet during the show... At John wants answer. Yeah, the yes is not there because it stands for suck. Yeah. Um, you can tweet. We'll read your tweets mm -hmm. and then uh, or your messages. You can go to our website, JohnWantsAnswers.com, okay, and click on contact, and we'll read those messages too. Um, start the timer. Can you start the timer. The timer's been started. Okay. Check your calendar, May tenth. Right. Uh, legendary Keith Statenfield will be taking your tweets. Contact us on the John Wants Answers right. form. The opinions stated here are John's own and not necessarily those of his company. Very important. Um, take tweets and messages. Well, now you're too far ahead. Now you're too far ahead. There was no card to tell me not to keep going. Well, you're not in charge of cards. I am in charge of cards. You can't read well, why don't you because just... you're dressed entirely in green why don't for you some just reason pick... with very disturbing Just pick a topic. Levels. Let's see the topic board. Okay, our topics tonight are dates on a calendar, Canadian wildlife, uh, nuclear deals, nuclear deals, ultra HD, ultra HD, home renovation, home renovation and creepy or hilarious. And creepy or hilarious. I'm gonna pick creepy or hilarious for a thousand. So let's see dates on the calendar creepy for one hundred. Creepy or hilarious for a thousand, John. Let's see dates on the calendar for two. Cinco de Mayo. All right. I'm just going to say creepy or hilarious for a thousand. The answer would have been I'm wearing an entirely green <laughs> suit and my nipples are sticking out of it. And the question would be oh. what did John think was a good idea to do for his crazy TV show? I think that falls under hilarious. This has never been done on KMVT before. I'm quite certain. I haven't checked the records, but I'm certain. This is the first. Yeah, that's because until like about four years ago, those nipples were not legal. <laughs> <laughs> what have I done to legalize them in four Nothing. years? Nothing. They changed the law. Okay. So, Cinco de Mayo. I know very little Spanish, but I know that means 5th of May. You know, I like holidays. They're named after the date they're celebrated on. And it comes right after May the 4th, the official Star Wars holiday. I celebrated May Mexican... May the 4th be with you. Yes. No, and you, what do you say? I celebrated Mexican Independence Day by having a burrito bowl. Of course you did. You and President Trump, I think. Yeah. It's not Mexican Independence Day, John. That's September 16th. So it's called... De Septiembre? No. It's called something in Spanish, which you terribly mispronounced. Also, next time, print two copies of the crazy <laughs> skits you want to do. Okay, give, it's, give me it's a called, It's called... It's called The Cry of Dolores. Oh! So I... So then, um, then what Cinco de Mayo represent? Uh, it commemorates when the Mexican army had this unexpected victory over the French forces that were attacking them for some reason. Oh, so surely that paved the way for Mexican independence. No, no, they, they'd already been independent for like 50 years. Oh. Like all the people in Mexico, I celebrated by eating Mexican food. 
Well, no, you celebrated Mighty Mac. I mean, they also probably ate Mexican food, being that they were in Mexico. Mm -hmm. And definitionally, food you eat in Mexico is, I mean, it might not be Mexican-themed food, mm -hmm. but it is food in Mexico and therefore Mexican food. Yeah. You forgot the last part. <laughs> I didn't forget the last part. Uh, only people in California celebrate Cinco de Mayo. That's not true. Oh. Like, like all over the country, they celebrate really? Cinco de Mayo. What are the people? Because it involves alcohol <laughs> and drinking significant amounts of it. What are the people in California celebrating? Uh, Mexican American culture. Hmm. But really, margaritas. Margaritas. Is that. Is that Spanish See, or Mexican? No, no, it's it's lime juice and tequila. Well, tequila is a very Mexican alcohol. It is, I agree. It's like vodka is a very Russian alcohol. I agree. And beer is Canadian. Um, Limes are also Mexican, so it, I mean, it's all <laughs> theme appropriate. I have tacos on Tuesday. I know you do. I've been to your house for tacos on Tuesday once. Taco Tuesday. So is that what's called cultural appro misappropriation? Yes. Oh. Yes, especially if you call them tacos. <laughs> Well, that's because we, in my homeland, we call them tacos. Yeah. Were they hard-shelled or soft-shelled? I would eat them hard-shelled. Yeah. yeah, that's not cultural appropriation, as it turns out. Because so far they off. Because they don't eat hard-shelled tacos there. When I make them, I have soft tortillas, corn yes. tortillas. Yes, that. And then I fry them up to make them harder. Yeah, yeah, of course you do. So does that make it authentic or not? No, it doesn't make it authentic. OK. <laughs> I call them my Canadian white boy tacos. I, yes, I, as yeah. I said, I've been to your house on a Tuesday. Yeah. You've been there for the... Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I notice I haven't been back. <laughs> Have you been invited? No. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then. I think we all agreed <laughs> that once was enough. <laughs> once was enough. Okay. I remember that night. I got totally sick that night. Not because of the tacos. No, like... Of course not. Earlier in the day, I got sick. And then after I had the nice... I had dessert. I had this um, ice cream pie for dessert. Yeah. And I think the sugar or something just, just brought just, me back to life. Just, just I felt your... wonderful after that. Wow. And terribly... Anyways. So let's see what our next topic is, Keith. Uh, creepy or hilarious for 800. Canadian wildlife for 200. What do we have there? The polar bear. The polar bear, one of the largest of all bears, is a nomad of the Arctic pack ice. Expert divers and swimmers, they've been seen swimming 200 miles from land. Their favorite food is seal. Their coat is made up of long guard hairs and dense underfur, which along with a thick layer of fat, keeps out the cold and helps to keep them buoyant. Usually two cubs are born in December or January. They're tiny at birth, weighing no more than one and a half pounds. They usually remain with their mother at least two and a half years. Important to the Eskimo culture and prized for its luxurious coat, the polar bear is being carefully managed in Canada. For more information on the polar bear, why not contact the Canadian Wildlife Service in Ottawa? We're and back. I'm back. We read some tweets. You're, I believe, if we're following continuity, still in your car, late <laughs> getting here, which is why I'm sitting here by myself and not next to a moron wearing a green suit and a blue hat and white gloves with, again, strangely disturbing nipples which stick out of the suit. Okay. We, we had a tweet come in. Was it John Smith? Did I read that right? No, I, no. I don't know who it was. Okay. Some guy said, um, well, I, earlier this week, I asked for topic suggestions, and he wanted to know what I thought of Man in the High Castle. Yeah. On Amazon it's on streaming. Amazon. Amazon Prime. But we, I don't have Amazon. Do you have Amazon Prime? I do have Amazon Prime. Oh, I don't. Do That's you, why I just buy things whenever I need them, and then they show up two days later. Do you watch Man in the High Castle? No, I haven't no. watched Man in the High Castle yet. I haven't watched it either, so. We, I'm stealing someone's Amazon Prime password to get oh, TV shows. Don't say that on television. <laughs> well, you're not well, stealing it. But, but who said you're it? You're sharing. Who you're sharing. said it? Ooh. 
A strange voice is confessing to things that are vaguely crimes. Okay, let's see the next topic. Uh, Creeper Hilarious for 600. We want, what did I call this one? Let's where, see nuclear deals for 200. Where, where does one get an all green suit, John? Amazon. <laughs> you should have Amazon Prime that, because you would have gotten free shipping and it would have gotten here in two days. That's right. It got here long enough. I, I got this like a month and a half ago. Wow, I've and been you've been holding. hiding it the whole time yes. from me. Just plotting, like, oh wait, <laughs> you won't believe what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna totally blow Keith's mind. <laughs> You never saw this coming, did you? You did not see this coming. I, I, I will admit, this was not expect. I mean, not this specifically. I, I always knew you would lose it one day. Okay. <laughs> and that, you know, I would have to be there to pick up the pieces, and I assume drive you home, <laughs> and get you uh, uh, probably a mug of warm milk. Since mm. you're both Canadian and don't drink, mm. uh, I might put some brandy in the milk. Just a word of warning. Um, and then hopefully this will, like the madness of King George, go away. Okay. Uh, but but I, don't, I, don't, I don't have much hope. I think, I think it's, can I have your stuff? No. <laughs> nuclear deals. We had Iran, right? Okay, nuclear deals for 200. Iran! <laughs> All right. So, hey, 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 I, I bought me one of them inflatable dinosaur costumes. Inflatable? Yeah, it's inflatable. Does that mean you can like go in a pool with it? No, no, but it's like eight foot tall. Okay. And I haven't got it yet. I get it in like August. It's back ordered. It's very popular. August. So our August episode, are you going to be? No, no, no? because that's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, I might wear it for Halloween. Probably not, because it's hard to drink. That's your like. Inflatable di dinosaur. It's yeah. your wedding anniversary, too. Yeah, it's our wedding anniversary, yeah. and it's, uh, again, your costume should make it possible for you to drink. Mm -hmm. Can you drink? Um, like in this costume? Yes. No. It's a terrible costume, then. But I'm a ghost. I don't need to drink. Um, so, on a nuclear deal, didn't we have a president in the recent past who could not pronounce nuclear? We did. What did he call it? Uh, I can't, I, like... If I say it wrong, I'm just going to get stuck saying it wrong forever. Yeah. And so I try not to do that. Like tacos. But I think he said, yeah, like, yeah, like tacos. Try it with me. Tacos. 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 See, you're doing it to me. What do I say? Tacos. Tacos. Yeah, you got more of a eh in the middle. Eh. I you don't want that. You want happiness. You want tacos. I also say pasta. Is that wrong? Yeah, it is. I don't think it's wrong. It's yes. just like a dialect. Anyways. Yes, so many things. Why did like we, we should need, make a list. Why did we need a nuclear deal? Uh, we didn't want to be... We didn't want Iran to develop nuclear weapons and bomb us or Israel back to a Stone Age. Yeah. Or I guess anyone else. Were those the two big targets of Iran? Probably. Okay. I'm not a... I'm not their strategist. Did they hate? They were also really angry at Iraq for a while. Iraq, yeah. So it could have been them. Right, right. Um, so, um, who? Yeah, who did they want to nuclear? Okay. Do you want me to read the questions for you? <laughs> no, no, no. I got, I got it. Okay. So, what is the official name of the nuclear deal that? I don't know. Start with a J, like J C something something something. J C joint... P O A, like the Joint Comprehensive mm, Plan of Action. Yeah. That sounds like a really terrible name. All the good acronyms are already taken. Like, first of all, when you try to name a deal, you you find an acronym that says something like, no bomb. Like the Patriot Act. Yeah. Which... Like the pasta and tiramisu. <laughs> Really idiotic, orthogonal yeah. tiger. But, but even this name, they didn't, weren't even going after an acronym. Even the name, Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, really Well, keep in mind, almost anything. all the signatories to this deal don't actually use English as their primary language. Oh. So there could be an acronym, which makes perfect sense. So then, what are the other countries that signed this deal? Well, clearly Iran. Right. United States. Right. France. Uh -huh. Great Britain. Right. Uh, I think the United Nations is involved. Yeah. Probably Germany. Yeah, yeah. Um, Two more. Uh, the Russians. Italy, Russians, okay. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, the nuclear stuff went to Russia. And, and, and China. And China, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Um, so, what was the Iran nuclear deal? So, what did they say in the deal? Um, uh, Iran agreed to give up a um, bunch of research into research mm -hmm. uh, and production of things that allowed them to produce nuclear materials, which they could use to run nuclear reactors or plausibly build a fission nuclear bomb. Okay. So they agreed to stop doing that. Correct. And, and what to did they get? decommission, they had thousands of uh, centrifuges, mm -hmm. which were busy spinning What's a hexafluorine gas or whatever. It's something that spins. Something that spins. Um, they have, I think it's hexafluorine. They're, there's a gas which has uranium in it. Mm -hmm. There are two kinds of uranium, uh, and they wanted a particular type of U-235. And the only way you can separate the various types uh, is by the weight of the nucleuses. Mm -hmm. So you have to you spin them in centrifuges, mm -hmm. and you slowly you know separate out the vast majority of it, which is not helpful to you. And this small fraction, which you can actually make into uh, uranium fuel rods and plausibly into fissionable materials to go in a okay. hemispheres of a bomb. So there's our legitimate So they uses. decommissioned a bunch of the mm -hmm. centrifuges. Okay. They already had separated out a bunch of uranium, like thousands of pounds of it. Mm. And they sent almost all of that to Russia. So the Russians can make nuclear bombs out of them. Russians already yeah. have nuclear bombs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Russians are probably running nuclear reactors with it. Okay. Uh, and they agreed not to research or build more centrifuges. Mm -hmm. um, they have some for production of nuclear materials for medicine and other things. But they agreed to stop doing a bunch of things. Okay. And in exchange for that, um, uh, bunch of countries, the signatories and some others, agreed to lift sanctions that have been placed on Iran because they were trying to develop mm -hmm. nuclear weapons. Uh, and they returned, the U.S. returned a bunch of money that belonged to Iran, that the U.S. had been keeping <laughs> since 1980 when the Shah was overthrown. How did America come to get this money? Well, the a fair amount of it was the Shah's money. I mean, it was the country of Iran's money. Mm -hmm. Happened to be invested in the West. And we just kept it. Oh. Okay. So we gave them all the money back. We gave them their money oh, back. Wow. We lifted the sanctions. Uh, and they had to allow inspectors into the country to look mm -hmm. at these various facilities. So the sanctions, were they like a lot of economic sanctions? So companies Primarily couldn't Primarily on oil. They kept okay. Iran from selling oil on the world markets. Oil is one of their largest exports. They can get a, a lot of money from... As a commodity, could they sell it to a lot of different countries? Well, a lot of... The countries that the sanctions would also sanction any country that bought oil from Iran. Oh, okay. Now, they still managed to sell some oil. Mm. And they clearly, you know, used oil themselves. I heard they sold it to North Korea. Probably. Yeah. Um, so it's part of the deal. They lifted all those sanctions. So then Iran, for the last couple of years, I guess, was able to sell oil yeah, to whoever like they the wanted. The last two years? 2015? 2015, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the last two years. No. Oh, okay. So they were pretty happy with that deal, I guess. I think they were okay with the deal. Yeah. I mean, no um, more. I mean, it had like a 25-year lifespan. Uh-huh. So in 25 years, then when they could have... Yeah, that's that's a problem for them. Yeah, yeah. Um, was there also a sanction on uh, the burning of U.S. flags? I have no idea. Oh. I doubt it. Because I think as soon as the, the deal was, the U.S. pulled out the deal, they started, yeah, they started, started burning, burning flags again. Uh, paper yeah. U.S. flags again. Yeah. So I figured that was part of the one maybe of the listed maybe. Sanctions. I mean, John Kerry was pretty comprehensive, <laughs> so maybe he also snuck in there something prohibiting the burning of U.S. flags. Mm. Why do you think these countries in particular were involved, like the German, the British, the, the Russians? Like, it's not quite the whole United Nations involved. But. No, well, the thing, the United Nations was also involved somehow, because there's a United Nations committee which 
reimposes the sanctions mm -hmm. if they think Iran is violating them. So why did the U.S. decide to pull out of this agreement? That's a great question. Now, do you know the answer? Well, there's a guy yeah. who had reasons, which reasons we probably don't agree with. We don't think they're true. Like we, don't, we, don't, we don't each agree on them. I, I, think, I think President Trump pulled out of the Iran deal because President Obama signed it. And anything President Obama did, he has to undo. Okay. And he promised... Just guess, though. Didn't he promise during his campaign... During the campaign, he, he kept talking it? about how terrible of a deal yeah. it was. Um, I think he mentioned that we paid them a bunch of money as part of this deal. Which is the Their money, yes. We gave them their Back money. Their money. Um, he's concerned that this deal does not go on forever, and uh, therefore they could start in, what is it, 20 years? They could start uh, making that's correct. bombs again? And the great thing is, by pulling out, he's ensured the deal doesn't go on forever. Uh -huh. um, he also complained that Iran could just keep making missiles and use those without nuclear warheads. So okay. it's clearly, I guess, a bad deal, because any good deal would see like you can't fire missiles at anyone. I, I, this is his words, not mine. I'm not uh, saying I agree with him. I'm just saying this is what he's okay. claiming, right? I'm not, I, I haven't even heard that level of rationalization, but go okay. on, go on. Um, let's see. Somehow America wasn't first, I guess. Maybe we were on equal footing as Britain or something. Is that yeah. why? I don't know. There's America first seems to be a big deal with him. Um, so how have the other countries who signed this deal reacted to the U.S. pulling out? Poorly. Poorly. They're not happy with us. I, I mean, Iran is not terribly thrilled. Are all the countries unilaterally upset? Like, is anybody on our side or our side? The, you know, America's side? I am not sure if any other country has also indicated they're going to pull out. Okay. Now, um, just because the U.S. pulled out, does that mean the deal could stay in place with the other countries? Clearly, the other countries in Iran could agree to amend the deal. Uh, it does depend on what the U.S. does, which is if the U.S. now reimposes a bunch of sanctions on Iran mm -hmm. and says, we're going to impose sanctions on any country which buys oil from Iran, well, Iran is not going to want to stay in this deal with the remaining six countries if they can't sell oil on the world market because they need the money. Mm -hmm. And the other countries are not going to want to either deal with sanctions the U.S. imposes on them because they buy Iranian oil or... So, I mean, it, things have to be figured out. But let's say... And it's unclear how that figuring out is going to happen. Let's say all these countries decide to stay in the agreement, and they all decide to keep buying oil and anything else, any other kind of goods from Iran, you know, sell and buy. Um, America couldn't really impose these sanctions on all these countries. Like, we do a lot of trade with China, for example. Yeah. Now, can you imagine that the U.S. would, like, then cut off all trade with China I or this? I can't imagine it. And but Britain and Germany and like these major... I guess we'd countries. buy all of our stuff from Luxembourg. In Can Canada? No. No? Okay. I don't think. What does Canada have? Softwood lumber. Beavers. Donuts. Yeah, we don't buy beavers. Tacos. Yeah, we don't. We Why would we buy tacos from... Oh, you buy your ta tacos from yeah, Mexico yeah, and tacos we... from Canada. Okay. I, I'm thinking one of those are a lot more likely to be bought than the other one. Um, all right. So I remember when we were dealing with North Korea. Um, and when I say dealing, I mean uh, President Trump was sending out tweets. Yeah. Kind of daring. Little rocket man. North Korea to attack us pretty much. Yeah. And I was like, this guy's going to kill us all. Yeah. Right. And it wasn't clear which of the two of them was. Right. And then it turns out now things really out of nowhere, it seemed to me, turned around. And now North Korea decided, oh, we're not going to do our nuclear thing. We should have like a little summit and talk things out. And let's reunite with the sort of South Koreas. So things are turning around there. Now, I'm kind of worried that this might mean 
Iran is going to kill us all, you know, they're going to nuclear weapons and wars. Or uh, is it possible the recent kind of peace out of this? Um, it is possible that there is more openness between North Korea and South Korea. Uh, I think most of that has to do with the negotiations between North and South Korea, mm -hmm. not so much what America's done. Um, North Korea has said we're not going to test any more nuclear weapons. Mm -hmm. uh, entirely coincidentally, uh, the mountain range where they did all their nuclear tests uh, collapsed mm -hmm. because they had done too many nuclear tests. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it is several years before they are able to build another place to test their nuclear weapons. Mm -hmm. But again, I'm sure that's entirely coincidental oh, yeah. Yeah, to yeah. their deciding to announce we're not going to do any nuclear tests right now. Mm -hmm. um, they're already pretty good on their long-range missiles. And truthfully, a more open attitude with the West and with South Korea would allow them to bring in more expertise to improve the various weapons that they have. But I'm sure this is going to turn out great. Okay. Um, is the U.S. at all open to negotiating a new Iran nuclear deal? Or they, they don't want any um, deal? I have heard that the old deal was terrible. Yeah. And mm -hmm. this guy could negotiate a much better deal. The old deal was the worst deal ever made in, in the, the history, history of, of the deals. world of yeah. all deals. I think I have made worse deals I, than a nuclear deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've been near you when you've made worse deals. Right. So we should submit that as evidence. Uh. All right. Um, hey, there is a new show coming to KMVT. Uh, next Thursday, yeah, at seven thirty, yeah, there's a new show called "I Can't Wait," um, hosted by a guy named Andrew William. Remember him? Yeah, he used to do a show called "What's Up with That." He did. And so then... here's some other ideas we had for show names. Yeah. Um, what is up with that? Okay. Was one idea. Because the whole apostrophe thing just always bothered you, right? Or we go the other way. What up with that, homie? <laughs> Don't, don't do that one. Okay. There was a... Uh, You'll get letters. Listen to me, mother... And then a bad word. Okay. Exclamation point. That's going to be hard Wait, to search angry. for on Google. Okay. Um, not because not you won't find it, because you'll find a lot of it. Yeah. Then there's will young or won't young. <laughs> see what I did there? I do see what you did there. I'm right. not sure why you laughed, though. Um, Andrew wants answers. It's okay. Andrew will young, okay. right? Okay. That's... Uh, and then trademark uh, violation, but go on. Close second, we had uh, the Will Young disasters. Okay. So that's, it's going to be a show that, about the winner. people, places, cultures, cultures or subcultures. Where? From the, Where? Oh, Where? the South Bay. Wow. San Francisco Bay Area. Wow. The state of California and beyond. Beyond. Yeah. So that seems unlikely. Unlikely we get beyond California. Yeah. Like Nevada. I can, I can see some people from Nevada coming Maybe over occasionally. here. occasionally. Yeah, or Oregon. P people in Oregon, those are subcultures. Okay. I'll tell you what, I've Hippies. been there. Hippies. All right. Or Northern California, really. <laughs> so I think we're out of time. Thank um, God. So let's add up the points. Um, you picked Creepy or Hilarious For three times. For 1,800 and 600. And, and you I never answered any of them. I would have. No, no, I answered the first one entirely correctly. <laughs> I guess that means you get a, a thousand points. Whoa, we're, we're being shot at. I'm already dead. Um, then it won't hurt when they hit you. When's our next show? It's on the cards. Read the cards. Uh, next, this, whatever this week, it's next month. We're, we're, we're not working on the date. Like, take messages, add up points. Next episode, June 14. June 14. 2018. All right, stay tuned Thank for uh, Deep Connect and then What the Bleep. All right.